I think I can hear some. Oh look, there's a light. It is, it's Scotty. <laughs> We heard the noise yeah. there, yeah. Like, yeah. we seen the lights, and yeah. I was like, yes! Three down there, I think they just managed though, and then... Yeah. A good shot on it. It's cold out here, isn't it? That swag's pretty warm, is it? Jesus, that was a lot of duck. Wow, I might have done this recipe before, I can't actually remember. I probably did. It's just roast duck and it's the best method I've found to roast a duck with. It's pretty simple. First of all, you shoot the ducks. <laughs> then you gut them, pluck them, or hang them for a day, hang them for a day or two with the guts in by the head. The English used to hang them till the body fell off the head. Go away Poochie. Preheat the oven to 200 degrees, prick a whole bunch of really small holes just in the skin on the breast and then pour boiling water all over the ducks, a jug of water over the ducks and what this does is it mounts the fat in between the skin and the breast and then put the ducks in for one and a half hours. You can get a little bit fancy on it and then flip the ducks every half hour so on their back, on their front, on their back or you can just cook them as is. You can put salt and pepper on and it also helps to put about a centimeter of water in the pan underneath the duck and put the duck on a grill. Grill? No, put the duck on a rack so it doesn't sit in the water so it sits above the water and then you can use that fat and water to roast the veggies and spuds and they come out so good. We can spin our hot date up at A&E. I don't want to go to the doctor because the doctor's going to go, oh, need an x-ray. I've already had it to x-rays. And then you're going to say, well, it's broken, but there's nothing we can do about it because it's just, if it is broken, it's just a minor break, a green stick fracture, because I didn't smack it hard. I just slipped and then cracked it on the jet boat. But you can't really see it. I was just talking about injury the other day too and so many broken bones and facial lacerations. I'm not going to the bloody doctor because it's date night. This is our second date night in one year. Yes, yeah, second date night. We're going to go stay at the Jade Court Motel in Hokitika. We're getting a hotel room, yes. Uh, hopefully we'll get discount rate. We might do. You never know. Got any local deals, bro? And then it will get night time and then there will be a scary ghost house when I go in it. Oh yeah, ghost. Bye. Bye. That's Rob. Rob doesn't want to be on film, but he's, he's too late because I already got him. <laughs> Brass champagne there. It's a pretty good deal for 115 bucks. All right, two ninety in Christchurch for the hotel room. This is place is way flasher than that one we got over there. Yeah, way bigger. Check this out. Double spa bar. Double spa bar. Double. I'm really excited to go on the boat. How excited? Like this much. This is the second boat. This is the third year of having a boat, and Kristen's been on it once. What did you catch when you're on the boat last? I caught Sonny's vomit in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Can't work the remote. Menu. Probably the AV. Guide. Crying out loud, that's the wrong button. Come on, make it work. What? I don't know what's... Yeah. Focus, damn it. Give us a uh, bit of an intro there. I don't want to do the intro. Go on, go on, just stay. No. What are you up to today? Just talk to me. What are we up to? Going out the Hokitika Trench to catch some blue nose. And what else? Turbot. Trumpeter. Trumpeter. Maybe. What the hell's turbot? Turbot's a giant flounder. Oh, no, not turbot. Well, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and no sharks. I'm not a shark. Catching kind of girl. Maybe a shark. <laughs> Alright, I guess we better do it then. I'll shit myself if I see a big shark. Am I driving? What? Ready? No. Ready? Ready? Ready, yeah. Okay, good.